हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट ए वनीला जावास्क्रिप्ट मेथड व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज स्प्लिट एंड वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट हाउ टू गेट द सबस्क्रिप्ट सबस्ट्रिंग फ्रॉम अ करैक्टर यूजिंग द स्प्लिट मेथड आई विल बी शोइंग यू अ कंप्लीट एप्लीकेशन लेट मी स्टार्ट बिल्डिंग दैट एप्लीकेशन वी हैव अ सिंपल इंडेक्स डॉट एचटीएमएल फाइल एंड लेट मी राइट अ सिंपल एचटीएमएल टेम्पलेट हियर एंड इंक्लूड द script file let me just show you the basic example of the method that i am talking about the split method so we will create the script.js file in the same directory so it is used to split up the strings based upon a certain character that is given to you so we are talking about the split method which is there in vanilla javascript so first of all i will be having some kind of text here let's suppose i need a text here John Williamson Latham is the captain of New Zealand. So this is a string out there. So basically, this is a text here, and let me just search here. So now this is a text here. Now what I need to do is that if I put a any sort of symbol here, let's suppose a underscore that. this symbol colon symbol i have put this symbol in between these uh, this line here sir john williamson latham and is the captain of new zealand so you can see i put this semicolon uh, colon symbol here so i need to get this text here this is a substring i need to get this text only uh, or i need to get this text only so in this situation i will be using this method which is called as split inside javascript so how i can do this it is very simple so i will be array text i can de declare this variable and now i can use this variable and here we need to pass the text here whichever symbol we need to split here so inside double quotes i will pass the symbol which is colon symbol that's it and uh, if you just go to the video description link i have given the full blog post link here so basically on which string you need to do this so i will call this method on the particular text here so first of all i will call this text dot split so basically you will see this method coming here and now inside the parentheses we need to provide the character to which we need to split this string into substring using the specified separator and then it will return this uh, as an array basically this method will return the uh, results in an array so we are storing this inside this array variable so we will provide this separator which is colon symbol here that's it and now basically if i just console log in the browser what it is there inside array text you will find out that uh, if i open this live server if i go to right click inspect element and go to the console menu you will see this array will contain two elements first as you say uh, in array indexing start from zero so the zero element will contain the sir john williams sub and the, the first index will contain is the captain of new zealand so now we have successfully splitted the text into two parts based upon the separator that we have given here this separator can be anything let's suppose i put a comma here so now if i run this it will not work if i re refresh it you can see it is still working here because i think we need to change the splitter here like this now you can see it is working here you will see if we have put this splitter here you can see that if i remove this so now you can see it is not splitting this because we are not mentioning this uh, symbol here like this so this splitter can be anything it can also be a text also let's suppose i put, put a is here like this is so now what will happen is that now it will slip sir john wetham the captain of new zealand so this separator symbol could be anything it can be a number also let's suppose i provide 56 and i write here in between these these two lines i write 56 here so now it will split these two text inside two substrings based upon the separator this also can be a floating point number 56.7 if you can see that and uh, this is actual method guys which is split method and uh, this is a really cool method 
so various times in this uh, scenarios where you need to only get the substring from a text so in those situations you can use the split method so we will be building a simple application make it more dynamic in nature so for this i will be including some bootstrap so just search for bootstrap cdn and go to here w3schools.com website and include only the css part so I will just have a text area where the user can submit its text and we will also be asking for the separator or in the select bar so you will see now we will have the container class of bootstrap simply we will have a heading in the center position that is split method example so all the source code will be there inside video description you can go to the video description to download all the source code now we will have the simple form here we will give it a id and inside this form element we will have the text area so form group class of bootstrap so we will have text area and this we have given a name uh, id to it of text and here we will give it a label that uh, enter your text and also we will have the container class as well so after that we will have a simple button to submit the form btn btn danger btn block and split text and uh, also we will ask for the user to submit its uh, splitter so it can submit any sort of uh, split element so this will be input type text so that should be required the placeholder will be enter separator symbol and uh, this also needs to be having the class of bootstrap so form control class will also be required and here also form control so these are all bootstrap classes so if you refresh the application now you will see split method example is there uh, oh sorry we have uh, so we copy pasted the javascript part so we need this part css part copy this part and paste it and now if you see that the application will change here you will see now this is the input field where you can enter anything then we enter the separator symbol and then we will say split text so here we have given the wrong class here which needs button needs to be separate so this will have the red symbol here you will see so we will also be having container class so here what we need to do is that guys we need to cache all these values inside our javascript so first of all we will check document dot get element by id here so we will catch the form element so we will add the event listener form and here we will have the e element so first of all we will say e dot prevent default to prevent the auto submission of the form then we will we'll get the text which the user has entered inside this symbol document dot get element by id and we have given the id which is text so we will get the value by dot value that's it after getting the value we will also get the separator which the user will write in order to split text so we will create separator variable so document dot get element by id separator dot value so all these things are you can see in the index.html we have given the id here if you check oh sorry we haven't given the id so i will give this id here id separator like this so after getting all these two values now we will simply call the function here simply to split the text array text and uh, this will be text dot split text dot split 
and uh, here we need to pass the separator that is passed here by the user that's it and also we need to show this on the screen so we will have another text area in order to show this so simply after this we will have a div which will have the id result to it and inside the table we will show the result so if you just go to bootstrap here and here we need to go to the tables tab here so simply type here bootstrap tables and simply get just simple table here simple example so we will have a simple table here copy this and paste it here so we can remove this uh, this div tag which is there instead we can just give it an id to the table just table here the class is table so let me format this so i can change i don't need this table row tags here just the single one is there and let me also delete this we also don't need this we can just say first half and second half and we can just remove this also that's it let me format this so we will give it an id to this table body here which is result sorry result so if i look in the browser you will see that first half and the second half so we will split the text into two halves here first will be stored inside this second would be stored inside this so simply what we need to do is that now we need to display this on the screen so we will catch this here we will get the document dot get element by id result and then we need to say inner html so first of all what you need to do is that so if you just console log it, it it's a it's a array so so what we need to do is that html is equal to we will write inside uh, template sy syntax formats which will allow us to write multiple lines of html code so here we will just write tr and we will close the tr symbol here and then we will store the td which is stable data and in the first half we will store here which is array text array text zero and in the second half we will store the next half which is stored inside the first value here which is array text one that's it. basically this is the array so that is why we are accessing the values using this square brackets now we need to initialize to the inner html so we can pass html that's it so this will insert dynamic table row to the table body tag that's it so now the application is ready let me write something here so if i put the colon symbol here like this let me attach this so if i write this colon symbol here like this split text so it will say let me just see what i haven't we have given the id to the form so add event oh sorry this needs to be submit so when I, this is a submit event handler so this was the problem so just change this once again So again if I write the same text and put a colon here like this put a colon and here also I put a colon split text and now you will see it has successfully splitted the text and it has stored this inside the table here like this you will see first half come here and the second half come here like this so you can repeat this for a more number of times as well so basically if you want to append this so you can simply append use uh, 
instead of using inner HTML you can say append like this and uh, that's it so once again if you write something here put a comma put a comma here like this Let me write this once again. What has happened? It has not working. Sorry, this needs to be. I think append method. I don't know why it is not working. It should work. Inner HTML or. inner html i think i need to plus is equal to let me try this if it is working or not if i once again do this if i write this now you can see it is working now perfectly so you just need to just concatenate bit by using plus is equal to and now it will work you can see that now we can just create this you can have as many separators as you want let's suppose i want to this separator so i have multiple separators out there so let me show that example too let's suppose you have first text here you have a separator here colon then you have another separator here so in that scenario let me see if the application works so now you can see g w this is not printing out because it is only taking the first two first separator case only so it is not taking the second separator case so this application is only valid whenever it found found out the separator symbol symbol for the very first time so this is only valid for that purpose only but i think that it's a very good application it tells you the case about the split method how it works and under the hood I have just just built the entire application using this function so I think that you like this video so if you want to watch these videos in the future also then please hit the like button subscribe the channel and also hit the uh, notification bell icon and if you want to download all the source code you can go to the video description link and I will be seeing you in the next video